Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. Today we're out in the park and we're going to be taking a look at a new antenna. Right? Imagine that. <laughs> Today we've got something special. This is the Chameleon LEFS or Lightweight End Fed Sloper. Stay tuned. I'd like to say thank you to these guys. They're my newest members over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, please head over to patreon.com slash KMRD Radio Stuff. So before we get too into this, I gotta say a huge thank you to Chameleon for sending me this antenna to review. And I also gotta give a big shout out to my boy Eric from Ham Radio Concepts for introducing me to the guys and uh, making this video possible. So thanks Eric and thanks Chameleon. So what is the Chameleon lightweight and fed sloper? Well, if we look at it for face value, it looks like every other 49 to one and fed half wave antenna. 63 feet of wire, 49 to one on on. Pretty simple, right? But that's where Chameleon comes in with their magic. They've tweaked it a little bit. This antenna is advertised as a 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meter antenna. A Little bit of catch to that. We're gonna need a choke right at the feed point to make all of that happen. Now, if we don't have a choke, it's gonna act just like every other NFED half wave. We're gonna get 40, 20, 15, and 10. But when we add the choke on here, I've actually found that I get 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10, all under, way under 2.1 to one SWR. And 30 meters isn't even advertised on this. They, in, in the instructions, 30 meters way high and crazy, but it's working for me. So let's throw this thing up in the air. I'm gonna put it on the analyzer and show you what it looks like without the choke and what it looks like with the choke. And then we'll get on the air, see if we can bang out some contacts. So I wanna show you real quick, just a close up of the antenna so you can see. We've got a really nice big toroid here wrapped with some really thick magnet wire, nice resistor in there. All the solder work is really high quality. We've got a loading coil here that's gonna help sweeten up the SWR and some of the bands that it wouldn't typically be resonant on. This wire is fantastic. It's really silky smooth. It's actually got Kevlar inside. It's like a Kevlar thread inside this to keep it nice and strong. It doesn't kink. It wraps up real nice. It unwraps real nice. This thing is very, very nicely built. On the other side, we've got our SO239. Now, I did break this. <laughs> totally my fault. This is actually supposed to be a complete circle where you would actually tie your uh, paracord around and hoist this up in the air. But I did something stupid and broke it, so I ended up just drilling this hole so I can tie my paracord in there and hoist it up. But totally my fault. Great, great quality antenna. I am very pleased with this so far. I've only had it for a short period of time, but in that time, I'm already uh, really liking this. And this is the inline choke that they sent me along with this antenna. So you got a PL259 on one side, an SO239, and a bunch of ferrite beads in there. And the way I deploy this, I actually take a 90 degree connector and stick it in there just to keep the strain off so the coax hangs straight down. And then this connects to that, and then the coax connects there. Chameleon also supplies you with 50 feet of this really nice paracord. It's nice and thin. It's really silky, kind of smooth, so it goes over the trees real well. And I'm just gonna tie a knot in here, hook up the coax, and I'll show you the analyzer without the choke first, and then I'll put the choke on and we can see the magic that happens. Now I'm gonna run this as a sloper, so the feed point is about 25 feet up in the air, and the best way I've found this antenna to work is to simply run the wire all the way out and just right down to the ground with a stake. So let's take a look at the analyzer. I've got this hooked up to 38 feet of RG8X coax without the choke. Here's 40 meters. We'll just do a quick sweep across these. 1.37 at the top of 40 meters, 1.05 at the bottom. Awesome, can't ask for more than that. Now this is surprising, I hadn't checked 30 meters without the choke, but we're 1.27 to one at the bottom, and at the top we're 1.27 as well, so looks like we can use 30 meters with this. Here's 20 meters, we'll just quickly go across the band here. Let's go to the top, fantastic all the way across the band. Absolutely fantastic. Now here's 17 meters and here's where things get wonky because we're 3.13 to one. And if we go to the top of the band, 
It doesn't get any better. 15 meters, looking great at the bottom. We'll just sweep this real quick. All the way across. 1.24, 1.25 to one at the top. Perfect. Now here's 12 meters, not terrible, but not great. Uh, most any regular uh, radio's tuner would tune that up no problem. We'll go across the band here real quick. So it's looking about 2.7 or so across the whole band there. Now let's take a look at 10 meters. 10 meters is a big band and this thing uh, pretty much handle it all. Even up into the FM portion here, there's the top of the band. We're still 2.18 to 1, so that's pretty impressive. Now we're going to add our inline choke, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a look at 40 again. Just sweep the band real quick. Fantastic. There's 30. Fantastic there. 20 meters. Sweep it real quick. Doesn't get much better than that. Now look what happened to 17. We're 1.68 to 1. And that's all across the band. Nice. There's 15. Perfect. 12 meters just got a lot better. and 10 meters. Fantastic. Now we're gonna start off on 40 first. Let's see uh, what kind of action we can scare up. Kilo two, Mike Alpha Bravo. Well, that was 10. 20 minutes on 40. Let's go for 10 minutes on 20. Cut the band in half. We should cut the time in half. Well, that was five and two minutes, so <laughs> I think 20 is a little more alive. Kilo 4, Sierra, Mike Hotel. Kilo 4, Foxtrot, Mike India. I think I heard Kilo Bravo Zero, Echo Quebec Hotel. K7, Charlie Alpha Radio, how are you? Park to Park, uh, you are 5'7 in a kilo 3019. Roger, uh, good to see you. You've got a 5'5, 55 in Utah. I'm at 0914. 0914, Utah. Copy the 0-9-1-4. Good to see you out there. All right, 7 3, good luck. Have fun. Alpha Echo 0, kilowatt ball. Kilo Oscar 4, Fox Trot. Okay, copy the 4 4 Washington. I'll give you a 3 by 3, 3 by 3 into Texas. Okay, I copy 3 3 into 3019. Thanks for your activation, 73. Who's the QRP station? Let's try something fun. I've never called uh, CQ on 17 meters. I don't know if it's gonna work, 
but we're gonna try. Let me respot myself here. I heard some people down there, so who knows? Even if I get one, I'll be happy. Was it Kilo Oscar 4 Tango X Ray November? Uh, Roger, Roger, got you. 5 1, 5 1, 5 1. <laughs> we got a 17 meter contact. <laughs> That's awesome. This is North Carolina. Well, so that wasn't a bad little activation. Got 33 contacts in uh, a little under an hour. Kind of taking a little bit slow. Uh, 40 meters was a little slow getting off, but uh, we got. Our first 10 contacts on 40 switched over to 20 and got like 22 contacts in I think 13 or 14 minutes. So 20 was definitely the banging band. Then moved up to 17, ended up getting a contact there. That was awesome. Uh, tried 15 for a little bit, nothing uh, hurt on that. So uh, what can you do there? But what a capable antenna. I mean, to get 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 all in one tiny little antenna. Uh, you, you can't really ask for much more than that. Those 500 watt sideband, 250 watt CW and digital. It's just a great antenna, guys. So I'm pretty impressed with it. I, I don't know what else there is to say. It's, it's pretty awesome. So I'm very happy with it. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And we'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.